Are you wondering what kinds of vegetables you can feed to your quail? That's what we're going to talk about in today's video and get that all cleared up for you. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Redneck video. Again, my name is Chris. If you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or heck, even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. I recently did a live broadcast and I got a lot of questions about what kind of vegetables can you feed your quail, so I thought it'd be a good idea to do a video on that. So let's talk a little bit about what the feed requirements are of quail before we specifically talk about the kinds of vegetables you can feed them. In the wild, quail, quail primarily uh, live off of seeds and grains, and that's going to make up about 80% of their diet. And then the remaining 20% is usually made up of of mostly insects, uh, grubs, uh, crickets, uh, just whatever kind of bugs they can catch, flies, anything like that. That's, that's where the remaining 20% comes from, especially during the summertime, the spring. Now in the winter, they're going to shift more to uh, leafy greens, seeds, grains, those kinds of things that they can find uh, off of the, the plant material that's died, you know, off in the winter time. In captivity, you really need to keep up with that protein requirement a little bit more all year long because we're kind of keeping them in a egg laying cycle all year which is not natural uh, so they need that higher protein limit so basically what it comes down to is if you want to move off of commercial feeds and you want to grow your own food you could definitely do something like fodder uh, barley would be fine wheat would be fine any of those kinds of normal fodder sunflower um, you know, just sprout those out, grow them up a little bit, and then feed that to your quail, that'd be fine. But you also need to supplement in about 20% with a high protein insect. Something like crickets uh, would be good, mealworms would be a good option for that. Those are all things that you could raise yourself if you wanted to, or you can purchase. Um, black soldier fly larva is another option, uh, grub worms, um, any kind of really uh, high protein insect. Even fly uh, maggots, fly larva would be uh, fine to feed them. But that needs to be about 20% of their diet at least. Okay, so let's say that you don't want to just move off of commercial feeds, but you just want to be able to supplement that, give your quail some treats and some of those kinds of things. For the most part, just about any kind of table scraps, any kind of vegetables that come out of your garden, and any kind of grasses, weeds, that kind of stuff that grows in your yard is going to be something that your quail will be able to eat. It, the list is so big, it's easier for me to tell you what not to feed them than it is to tell you what to feed them. Now, as far as table scraps go, you want to stay away from meats. You don't really want to feed them meat. Um, you want to stay away from anything real salty, um, so avoid salt if you're going to be giving the, the table scraps to the quail. Um, you can salt your own plate, you know, maybe leave the extras unsalted, something like that. So anything salty you want to stay away from. Avocado. Do not feed the avocado to your quail. It can be toxic for them. Um, what else? Uh, uncooked potato. And honestly, I'd stay away from potato, just period. Um, I wouldn't feed potato to my birds, but especially not uncooked potato. Um, you also want to stay away from rhubarb. That can be toxic to your birds. Parsley is another option. Do not feed parsley to your birds. Stay away from that. Um, and the leaves and stems of tomato plants and really any kind of nightshade family plant, you don't want to feed to your quail. The fruit's okay, but the leaves and the stems you really want to stay away from. So that would include a lot of vining things too. Um, just look up nightshades and whatever's in the nightshade family, you don't really want to feed that to your quail. Um, other than that, um, some other things you might not want to feed them. You don't, don't feed them anything with caffeine in it. No, um, no chocolate, of course. I don't know why you'd want to feed your birds chocolate, but don't do it if you had the idea to do it. Um, citrus, stay away from citrus. No lemon, no oranges. No, none of that citrus fruits are bad for them as well. And onions. Don't feed onions to them. Other than that, just about anything else is fine. Um, they really will, will go nuts for bread. Um, so if you have stale bread, by all means, you can throw that into your quail's hutch, and they will, they will love that. They will go, go to town on that. Uh, pastas even are fine. So if you have leftover pasta, you made a, a you know, spaghetti and you had leftover noodles that you didn't use up, they, those can go in your quail hutch. Those are mostly grain-based anyway, so it's a fine supplement to your quail's diet. And like I said, any kind of vegetables that come out of your garden, a lot of times what I do is I'll take my extra vegetables, and you can see I've got, uh, let me open this hutch up, see if I can not disturb him. They're not going to do it on camera for me, probably. But I've got a couple of vegetables in there. I've got a couple of pieces of zucchini and a cucumber that I threw in there. And uh, he was eating on that right before I opened the hutch up, but I opened it up and that kind of got him away from eating that. But let me pull this out of here. I'll show you. This is just a cucumber. Uh, 
got a little bit big in my garden and wasn't really suited for me, but I cut it open and threw it in there and you can see, hopefully you can see that in the camera. They've cleaned it out pretty good and this has just been in there about an hour or two. I gotta keep looking behind me. I learned a while back that they'll sneak out from behind me whenever I'm doing this and I'm not careful. Uh, but they've cleaned it out pretty good in just an hour or two and they primarily focus on the center of that. They'll, they'll clean that out. Now, if you are throwing these vegetables in there, like I said, there's nothing special you have to do. Just throw them in there. The quail will eat them if they want them. Sometimes they, uh, some vegetables they like more than others and some quail are a little bit pickier than other birds. Um, it takes them a little bit to kind of figure that out, but it's a good supplement to add to your quail's diet. You do want to watch this though. Don't leave these things in there until they rot. You know, I leave them in there for the day. Anything that they haven't finished off comes out, goes in the compost pile, um, you know, at the end of the day. So it's not drawing too many fruit flies. It's not going rotten on them, any of those kinds of things. But that's a good thing to do. And this is also something that's nice to do in the summertime. You can freeze these things and then throw them in there. And that gives them something extra to kind of... Uh, to kind of chew on and uh, keep, keep themselves a little bit cool. Now I've found that with my quail anyway, they really prefer the uh, commercial uh, feed over the fruits and the vegetables that are thrown in there. Um, and you know, I think that over time they would probably get used to that, um, but it's something that I don't really have an abundant supply of all the time, so I don't throw it in there all the time. I just kind of throw it in there when I get extras. Some of them seem to enjoy it a little bit more than the others, but for the most part, they don't, they don't really go after the fruits and the vegetables too much. They go after the uh, commercial feeds, uh, the, you know, the game bird starter that I feed them, and that's their primary diet. That's what they really seem to enjoy more than anything else. Your mileage may vary on that though. You may find that your quail really like that a lot. And like I said, if you were switching over and if you were feeding this primarily to them, I think they would enjoy that quite a bit more. Um, they do seem to like uh, some of the greens that you pick up for them, like clover. They seem to like clover quite a bit. Um, that's one of the things that I've thrown in there that they really seem to uh, to go after quite a bit. And that's, that's, a, that's a good treat for them. All right, so this is a pretty short video. Again, um, just about any kind of table scraps, uh, you know, instead of throwing them in the compost pile or instead of throwing them in the trash, you might try giving them to your quail and see how they do. Just avoid those things that we talked about so you don't have any problems with that. But think of these guys as like little chickens and just about anything that you can feed to chickens, you're gonna be able to feed to your quail and they're gonna enjoy that um, for the most part. But let me know, guys. Let me know below. Are you feeding something different? Are you growing some food specifically for your quail? And have you found something that they really, really enjoy? Just remember that if you are going to switch off of a commercial feed to purely growing your own feed for your quail, that you need to make sure that you do supplement that with some insects. It needs to be about 20% of their diet. That's very, very important for them for the high egg production and especially for the young when they're growing to get the fast grow rates out. They need that protein level of that. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, God bless.